followers. One of my friends bought an RTL SDR and they want to use it for amateur radio and listening. So this is how to do it on Mac OS. I'm going to first start Cubic SDR. And there it is. That'll start Cubic SDR. For it to work, okay, now here's your RTL. Highlight that. And once you highlight your uh, your RTL SDR, you want to then make sure that it's on QADC. This will basically make the HF work better. It will probably come up on off. Make sure it's on QADC. And now hit the start key. And now I'm on the antenna directly here. And you can do a few things. Click on frequency here. And you can basically then hit the space bar once. And you could enter a direct frequency in here, like say um, 10 megahertz, 10.0. I hit enter. So that'll move the scale right to 10. It'll put it in the middle. And then you can put the cursor down here and click on 10. And you'll see, double click. You'll start receiving on 10. And then you want to move this thing to say AM. And there's WBB. You can now advance this thing to 15 like this. That's, that's 9, 10, 11, whoops, too small. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So that would be WWV on, on 15 megahertz or, 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 there, or thereabouts. I don't see it. Okay, there it is. So now we can move it over a little bit. There it is, not very strong. You can now decrease the bandwidth uh, manually by using this bandwidth uh, number by incrementing and decrementing the mouse. Or you can grab the bandwidth here and increase it and decrease it manually using the cursor. So that's about that. There's not much else to know on this thing, really. You can say now, go down to so, just say 40 meters. It's a pretty simple program. And now we're on 40 meters. Um, you can look around here and say, okay, what's going on? Let's flip right here. Looks like there's some things going on here. You can move down a frequency like this by dragging this whole window down. Your bandwidth window can be dragged down to change frequency. Um, and dragged up 7.0 something, 15, 17. So you can tune that way and go on to LSB. There we are. See what's happening through here. Looks like some CW going on. You could then take the bandwidth down. And that gets rid of one of the signals. Pretty handy, huh? Down to 700. So that's pretty nice. Well, anyway, it's like a new radio, right? Just how new radios work, so it's pretty cool. But I think it costs 30 bucks and the software is free, so hey, it's not going to kill you to buy one. Okay, check the sideband out before we go here. Run over here to sideband. We'll click over here. AM station. Looks like sideband. Yeah. There. Now, LSB. And so I'm just moving this window up and down. For lower sideband, you want to move it to be on the upper part of the uh, sideband signal, and the lower sideband is, is well, it's, it's lower than the signal. That's how it works. A little bit of Hespin all there. I'm just kind of cruising up here to see what I can find. And a little more sideband. There's some here. You can increase the bandwidth for high fidelity. And that's about it. So that's your quick start on this uh, program. Have fun. Bye.